Welcome to day 2,343, which is really day 2,344, but I mixed up and used the wrong number yesterday, or I said the wrong number in my videos, so I just went with it, and today I'm going back and using yesterday's number to keep my videos in order, and they won't be exactly sequential, but does it really matter? No. <laughs> so, today we're talking about step six of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge Private Facebook Growing Process which the N in growing stands for never quit, never give up. And we're talking about, and we're just sharing one way that we can commit to never giving up and never quitting on the relationship that we're working on as part of this month's growing process and applying it to one of our relationships. And I talked a little bit about some relationships we, we need to give up on and quit on because they're not in our best interest. But hopefully we're not talking about one of those relationships as we're going through the growing process. I use my growing process and, and as I'm going through it in the monthly topics, I pick a relationship, a topic that I want to 100% commit to making sure that I succeed in that area or aspect of my life. And I do that with relationships, a relationship where I have unconditional love. Uh, not all of our relationships should include unconditional love. There are things people can do that are so bad for us that we should not be in a relationship with them. Uh, but there are people that we will love no matter what. I will love my children and my granddaughters no matter what. No matter what they do, no matter how they are, I will always love them. I might not always love what they do, but I will always love them. Uh, so, talked about that. Then I shared for in our Supersize Your Business group, uh, I'm working with a young lady who wants to build a business in the pet care industry. And she wants to build it from the ground up to grow and scale and supersize and be a very resilient business. She understands how the world is changing all the time, but she also sees the opportunity. She loves animals and she wants to find a way to make the world a better place by building a business in that industry. And so I kind of walk through in a very messy way because I just decided this morning I was going to do it. Uh, some of the things that we're talking about and doing to create and build resilience into her business as you know from the ground up and i just shared a couple of the steps and things that we're doing and my favorite of course is identifying where exactly her unique offer and where she uniquely fits in that industry in an area that can she that she can grow and expand in i didn't even talk about the different things that we've talked about in terms of scaling she can franchise uh, once she gets her structures and systems in place. So we are documenting everything as we do it, which is really fun. Uh, I am a huge believer in the power of documenting our processes and systems and then having a mechanism for continually improving them and adjusting them as we grow and scale and as we add people to our organization, as we add uh, products and features and systems and things to our organization. We want to document how we do all of that. Uh, the vast majority of people don't document their businesses. And the problem with that is, if you ever want to sell it, if you ever want to do something different, if you really want to scale it, it's almost impossible to do unless you are keeping track of and documenting what you're doing. That is, of course, in my humble opinion. But I've seen it time and time again where a business owner builds a, a big business that works for them and they do things a certain way. And they think if they just hang around for a month or two after they sell it, people are going to give them top dollar and take their business off their hands. And they're going to retire in a, a Caribbean paradise for the rest of their life. And the person that buys their business will just figure it all out and do the same things that they've done. And they usually run into this big brick wall where nobody wants to buy their business because they don't know how to do it. And they can't learn in a month or two everything that you've done in 10 or 20 years to build and scale and supersize your business. So uh, that's just been my experience. Uh, long stories in, in, the, in that area, in that category. From personal experience, learning the hard way because we had some things documented but not everything uh, in different businesses that I've been involved in. Oh, what else is going on? Uh, resiliency and never quitting, never giving up are huge, uh, huge themes that keep rolling by in my life. And so uh, it was a fun day for, for topics to share. Uh, again, I said in the beginning, I, I messed up with my what you have to now numbering. And I do that sometimes, right? I don't see very well. So when I, I look at something, I miss saw it and uh, picked the wrong day. But Instead of having to go back and tweak and change all kinds of stuff, it's just easier to say, hey, today is day 2,300, what is it, 43? 
43 instead of 44, but it's really 44. Angel numbers. All right. If I can help you anyway, hit me up and ask. Saturday where I am. I don't know what day it is when you're listening or hearing this. Doesn't matter. You can always reach out and ask me a question if you got it. All right. Have a great day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.